Carl Kucher had recently moved from Quebec to Vancouver in 2017. He wanted to improve his English skills by immersing himself in the English culture of BC. Friends described Carl as attentive, emotional, active in society, loved animals, and he was a vegan. He is also described as compassionate with a great sense of humor. Carl was reported missing on November 2nd, 2019, after he failed to show up for work. He hadn't had contact with anyone since October 31st. Police obtained surveillance footage from Grouse Mountain Resort, which is located in North Vancouver in Grouse Mountain Regional Park. It showed him at the Uphill Chalet on Halloween Day. It is believed that he is heading out on the Haynes Valley Trail. A friend told CTV News that Carl was interested in the Wim Hof Method breathing techniques, it which is a philosophy developed by a man that summited Mount Everest, that preaches that breathing techniques along with mindfulness and cold exposure can help bring health benefits. The friend also said that Carl appreciates Wim Hof but doesn't think he would put himself in danger to practice those techniques. The friend said that he probably went into the mountains for a good day of hiking. North Shore Rescue searched the backcountry area, shuttling crews by helicopter around snow-covered mountains, while a second helicopter mounted with a thermal camera looked for heat signatures. It was a huge area and a challenge to cover, said search manager Jeffrey Arnold. Snow had fallen for more than a foot in the first three days he was missing. The searchers were challenged by the cold. Carl was last seen wearing a fleece top and running shoes. He was unprepared to spend the night in the mountains. Within days, a storm moved in, blanketing the area with even more snow. Haynes Valley is among a list of names familiar to the searchers. Suicide Gully, Monzabert Creek, Crown Mountain, Tony Baker Gully. The area can be hiked into within a few hours. Once you're there, you're very, very isolated and there's no cell signal. You can get turned around very easily. And Mike Danks, North Shore Rescue Team leader, said, these are places where a person can get into trouble very very quickly. The search team was really holding out hope that he would be found or that he made his way out of the valley. Carl's parents were hoping that too when they came to Vancouver from Quebec to aid in the search. They made hundreds of missing posters and visited homeless camps and shelters in the hopes of finding him alive. Mike Danks met with the parents and filled them in on just how extensive the search had become with 1,300 searchers and recovery dogs. Even after the searchers gave up hope that he would be found alive, they were still committed to the search. Closure is a big thing for us, Danks said. We are incredibly motivated to do that for the family. But also on the flip side, it is so frustrating for us not to be able to locate someone. We really want to follow through and clear up all of these cases. If anyone comes across anything that looks out of place, abandoned clothing, boots, packs or gear, they should leave it where it is, Danks said. Take a photo and get approximate GPS coordinates from their smartphone and call police and North Shore Rescue. The real unfortunate thing is that Carl walked by the sign that was put up the day before, closing the backcountry of Lynn Headwaters, he said. Carl was the only person to have gone missing in the backcountry in 2017 and not being found. Carl was unfamiliar with the area, the terrain, and ill-equipped to be outside in the elements. Most critically, he didn't tell anyone what his plans were, so no one knew to call for help until the days after he was last seen. Visitors to Vancouver that attempt these hikes do not understand that the closed areas are closed for a reason, being very naive as to how remote the area actually is and how treacherous they can be. Carl's family became aware of the gravity of the situation and returned home to Quebec without hope of finding him. Danks urges people to always leave a route plan and have a backup plan to call for help if something goes wrong and never hike alone. Carl is described as 6 feet 2 inches tall, he weighs 165 pounds with short blonde hair and brown eyes. He was last seen wearing glasses, a dark green jacket, sweatpants and a small green backpack. Anyone with any information is asked to call the Vancouver Police Department at 604-717-3321, file number 17-226512.